Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share with you how to do the uh, recess, I think that's the right name, for this card and also I crank it up a notch and we're going to have a gift card inside of it. So let's see how we're going to do that. I did this one on a Facebook Live and this year the this paper it's retired but it was share what you love this one it's a uh, magnolia lane and this one it's per essence uh let me uh perennial essence it's a tough word to say uh, for me so it is in the 2018 20 uh, 2019 20 20 catalog so I uh, use this print here and I changed the size a little bit from my regular one because with designer series paper to get more out of a sheet instead of cutting at four and a quarter we're going to cut at four so really with one sheet of designer series paper you can make two cards of the way that I do it if you would cut at four and a quarter well then that would uh, you would only get two cards so this way you can have four cards if you don't use two pieces of designer series paper in the front and in the back then you could have a six card so I am using um, Blackberry Bliss for my base now I score so it's cut at four not at four and a quarter like in a half so at four and this it's 11 so it's cut at four on the long way score it at five and a half we're going to reinforce that now this is the front of your card so it, the opening it's at the bottom you're going to put your ruler from the top you're going to measure at on this side on the left side there it's going to measure seven eight so you're going to put that right at seven eight and hmm that don't look just right. Let me uh, measure twice, cut once. I can move that a little bit there. Okay, seven eight. I had thought that measure it, but let's do that again. Seven eight. It's right here. So that's why you want to use pencil too, so you can erase. So seven eight, and the next one is going to be at one and a three eighths. So one and three eighths, you're going to put that right there. I had put the wrong measurement, so I'm glad I checked that. So one and three eighths. Could have been just the way I placed my ruler, but here we go. Now on, that's on the left side. On the right side, you're going to start from where your score is. And it's going to be three and one eight. Must be just the way I put my paper. Three and one eight. And then you're going to mark uh, the next one. It's at five and three eight. So it's just below there. That was right. So now we get this one marked. Now for the one that look like the flop here whatever the two piece here you're going to decide which side of the paper so it's important to mark the side that you want sometimes it's a lighter side and you think oh, i'm going to mark that side well that's going to reverse your paper so you want to mark the side of your paper so this one here your layer is going to be your first mark is going to be at three quarter that it's right the next one it's at one and a half I can go a little bit below there. One and a half. Let me mark a bigger mark here. And then that's on the left side. Now on the right side, again from the top, that you're going to measure at... Um, uh, okay, I did uh, three quarter and... Th now I lost my mind of thread. Three quarter and one and a half. The next one's going to be at three. That's very good. Right there, about three. And then at five and a half. So five and a half, I don't have to mark it. Here we go. Now, I will have all measurement on my blog. After you mark that, take your paper trimmer. 
or any type of, uh, you can make a mark if you want, whatever work for you. I put the left side right in the groove here. Let me make sure I see in the camera. Here we go, much better. So, the first mark on the left side and the first mark on the right side. You're going to put them together like this, so right in the groove, the first mark and the first mark on each side. And then you're going to cut that diagonal. No. Remove this, the second mark in the groove, and then the second mark here in the groove. So now when you get both of them going matching in the groove, then you're going to cut again diagonal. No. Et voila! Now we're going to save those two pieces and we're going to use this piece too. You could make another card with that, but we're going to use that uh, in this card. Now I just erased my mark. Now we're going to repeat this. Your first mark on the left, go at the top. First mark on the right, go at the bottom there. So first mark and first mark. Here we go. That looked pretty good there. Cut. This should match our top. Now you're going to do the second mark right here. And this was right at three and a half. I mean, five and a half. We didn't have a mark. Five and a half, it's right the point. That's simple. You're going to put that here and cut. So now those two pieces here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to overlap it this way for inside my car. So we're going to put that aside. This should fit in the bottom. So let's see if we get a good measurement here. So this is going to tell us this should go at the top. And I find it that it's a bit too long for some reason. So what I'm going to do, I feel it's a little bit too long. I'm just going to put that here. That is my first step in, but we can fix it. Just shave it a little bit here. And let's see what that's going to give us. Maybe my first measurement went right. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit more. So if that happened, you know exactly what to do to shave off your paper a bit, right? Here we go. Now I got some airy stuff here. Let's turn that around. Okay, if you get a nail file or it can be a sand block, here we go. Now let's check that out. Perfect. I get just my little border. I see I get my line here. We're going to remove that. Whoops. And then let's cut, uh, I mean glue this. I like to use Tombow for this. The main reason why I like to use Tombow for this, because if I'm not just right, it gives me the chance to move it around a bit. You want to make sure you get the corners and so on. Put that right at the top on the side. So my piece look like I cut it a little bit too big on the side, you see, but don't sweat the small stuff. What we're going to do is take our scissors, go from the back. You see, if you're not just right the measurement, uh, you can just shave it a little bit, et voila. So now I got my nice little border. It looked like not much, but look, boom. Now the next piece, it's this one here, and it's going to go here. And for some reason, it is off. It is the same size. I'm thinking I use the same uh, thing. But you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take this. I'm going to go sideways. And we're going to cut it off a bit. So I must uh, add, uh, mark the wrong mark. I think my first mark that I marked was right. So I will uh, have all measurement on my blog. Here we go. So if it happened that you cut it off a bit, don't worry, you can always fix it. So the card base really should be marked at 7, 8, and 1, and 3, 8. And I think I did my reverse. So, but we're going to make it work. It's good that I make a little boo-boos here and there so you guys can see. Uh, here we go. Yeah. 
But see now, with because it's tumble, I can shift that a bit. Here we go. Okay, let's put our white here. Just to see how. Okay, we're going to call that good. Now, the next piece, I got um, the reverse of this. So, again, this measure, five, uh, I mean, four by five and a half. This is going to get covered here because I need this. It's a bit soft, so I want something strong for the inside. So, I'm going to put just a border, I mean, leave it a little bit bigger. This one was the same, same size, and I decided to do this one a little bit smaller. I thought it's going to give an outline because I'm going to have smaller ear like this. See, I got an outline around a, a frame. So that's why I decided to do this one smaller. So this one here measure um, three and three quarter by five and a quarter. Oh, I almost make a boo boo because that is the size that I want the front. So you put the other side. So whatever side that you want in the front, you don't cover it. Okay. It's going to be like this. So now I got a nice little border around. So we're going to put that equally. Let's remove this for now because we have to do our gift card. We're going to put that right in. Put that right inside. And well, that's about right. It's just one tiny little air really. like. We're going to put that right here. Oops. Sorry, the blue, uh, the uh, print at the front, the print at the front, print at the front. I almost did a big boo boo. Now you're going to take your uh, dimensional, you're going to put that in the flap. So I'm going to add about oh, six dimensional here. Six, seven. Here we go. Let's remove those little backer here. Make sure I didn't forget nothing. Okay, let's put that completely straight. It's a bit too long. I cut my paper a little bit too long. You know what? We're going to do a little bit of trimming here. Very important, I guess, to have just the right there and then here. Here we go. And while I got it there, I know now it won't be all the way. Just was a little tiny bit. Here we go. So, what they say, measure twice, cut once. Well, I guess I just measure once. Oh, turn this around. Now much better. Okay, now that it's here. We're going to take this, oops, make sure it stays straight there, and just close this. Voila. Now we're going to take the bottom part, and this one, we're going to put the dimension in the back of this. This, this, this. You want to make sure you put some, like, kind of in the corners, because that's where it pulls the most, you know, when you open and close a card. And I think I can put another one there. Okay, you saw me when when you remove those um, backing of dimensional in the back of the scissors. Make sure you don't pass your hand on the blade. Right, just go boop. And voila! Now we're gonna take this. Make sure it's straight. Put that right at the corner there and there. Et voila! Is that cool? Okay, I already pre-done. I use um, Blushing Bright. I thought it would bring the flower out. And for the stamp set, uh, Love to Celebrate You, that's the Butterfly Wishes. So we're going to glue this together. While I get my Tombow here, I might as well just use that here. We're going to put that there. Now I'm just going to put Tombow right here. 
because it's kind of raised up, right? And I'm going to put that right here at the side. Maybe I want to touch a little bit here. Oh, a little bit too much there. That's okay. Here we go. Wipe on my pants. Why not? Here we go. See, I, was, I didn't want to put nothing else to that because I think the paper do it all by itself. So I thought that was just right. Now for the inside, I put birthday wishes and I put the little butterfly. That's all from the stamps, the same stamp set. Now we're going to use the classic label. Going to take this and go about, oh, I'm going to say one inch from the bottom. And I'm going to go right at the edge there. Punch, move this along and try to stay in the same groove. And punch. And even if it's not just straight, don't worry about that. It won't. And I really I should have put it higher. I just thought about something. That's okay. So now what you're going to do is put whatever snail or whatever glue you want to use. And here just use a little bit at the bottom. Take this. Put that right in the center here. Now you're going to take your gift card. Don't worry about writing the number of this gift card. It's been expired a long time ago, 2012. And then this is going to slide right there. Mm, you want to make sure that you put maybe your birthday a little bit higher so you don't cover it with the gift card. Now when you cut out your um, five and a half and five and a half by four you still have this little piece here so we're going to take that and we're going to cover this here so i just going to use glue dots or you can use even snail put it on each end don't put nothing in the center though absolutely nothing in the center because you want your card to be able to move freely because you want them to be able to spend it right I'm going to put that right there on the side. Okay, now you still have, um, let me, that's the one that I said I cut a little bit too big. Here we go. Voila. Now, see, it stands very, very nice. Now the inside here, like I said, those two pieces here, they're going to be a bit too long, remember, but we're going to make that work. I'm going to put that here so we're just bringing the party inside put it that way gonna put that there we can adjust that though it's gonna fit because we can shift that put that there put the other one here so we're just bringing the party inside that is it my friend oh here we go so now you get the inside too when you open it up. The inside is as pretty as it is on the outside. So the top of the card, the card base, like I said, that's going to be marked at 7, 8, and 1 and 3, 8. And then on the uh, right, it's 3 and 1, 8, and 5 and 3, 8. I'm going to have all measurement on my blog. So I'm going to have the card base and the layer. Et voila, my friend. Very, very simple and beautiful. So that is um, the perennial essence uh, designer series paper. And this was um, the um, oh, Magnolia Lane. And this was Share What You Love that just got uh, retired this paper. But voila, my friend, three beautiful cards. So again, below or above in the description, you get all um, the link to go to my blog. You can purchase everything you need to make those two cards here. And I will have uh, all measurement. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.